Hi and welcome back. Now in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this. This is the SMSL PS200 audio converter. Now package wise it's not great. You do get a charging cable, no power adapter, but that is it. However, the very small unit itself does pack quite a lot in. You've got Bluetooth 5, you've got MQA decoding, you've got a built-in low noise power source, and you've got a really nice quality DAC chip. And I think it's the DAC chip that is going to make the difference to this very tiny unit, which will be, when you plug it into your music system, a little bit of a game changer. Now, before everybody starts commenting that this small little audio converter can hardly be a game changer. Yes, if you've already got a top quality DAC, a top quality system, then no, this video won't be for you. And I thank you for your time so far. However, if you're in the situation where you're fairly new to music, you've maybe bought a cheap streamer, or maybe you just use your Bluetooth to an amplifier, then I think this small little PS200 is going to make a huge difference to the quality of the sound that you're going to experience from your system. So on the front of the unit, you have a small button which will allow you to move between the USB, optical, coaxial and Bluetooth features of the unit. Over on the rear, you have a USB-C port switch here which allows you gamers to use your playstations etc an optical in your coaxial and your output for your rcas now for the purposes of this review i am only going to be testing this with my own ears and i will explain obviously the sound etc etc improvements over the normal inbuilt dac into the various amplifiers that i am using this small dac with if you're really into your measurements then head over to audioscienceview.com i have put the link in the description below where you will find out all these measurements turned out to be in the excellent range, putting them up with DAX at two, three, four times the price. Now for the purposes of my test, I decided to start off with connecting a small streamer to an amplifier. Now in this case, I am actually using the Fozzy Audio ZA3 and sound is reasonable and that's direct from the streamer it's only a cheap streamer and again i've put a link in the description below if you want to check it out however i then connected the sp200 to the streamer and believe you me the difference is huge an increase in the bass an increase in clarity and a considerable amount at that too. Now, I really was surprised at the uplifting quality of the sound um, that came from this small little DAC. I then thought, well, what if the Bluetooth's good as well? Because usually as you stream to Bluetooth, it's, you do lose an element of quality. Well, I've streamed from a Samsung S23 to the SP200, and again, the sound quality direct through that to the amp and out to the speakers was really quite incredible. I then wanted to try the SP200 on everything else I've got. So I plugged it into the small Fozzy Audio BT20 that I've got in my lounge with my lounge speakers. And again, the quality, both Bluetooth um, that I was streaming on this instance was really very much of an improvement over streaming directly Bluetooth to the amplifier itself. Now my next step was to connect it to the laptop. Now I'm guessing a lot of you might use this small little DAC in a desktop music setup with a pair of nice little desktop speakers. And there's one thing I would say that you must not forget, and that is to download the driver for the PS200. Without it, 
the sound quality is absolutely atrocious. But as long as you do remember, install it, and I will link, leave the link in the description below, then the sound again is a real huge improvement over that from the DAC of my laptop. Now the final connections I made was to my television set. Now this was via optical cable and linked through then to a homemade hound bar, a homemade sound bar, um, and also a small subwoofer working on a small 2.1 system. Now the DAC did produce a slightly better sound quality, however not such a drastic quality that it had previously done with a previously mentioned audio equipment. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the SMSL PS200 audio converter? Well, to start with, I think if you can get over the fact that it's very small, not very inspiring looking, very plasticky, and the LED display on the front is very difficult to see, then I think what you will have for the money is an absolute bargain of DAC. So what do I mean by that? Well, as you'll have seen in the video, I've connected to various sources and on each and every one, it certainly improved the sound quality quite considerably. Well, other than possibly the television. But everything about the music was improved. The bass was improved. The clarity was so much better. And what you've got to think is, this is retailing around about £60 currently here in the UK. So if you can make such a huge improvement to the quality of your sound, then it's a bit of a no-brainer. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has been useful to you. And if it has, or if you've got a PS200 or similar, then please leave me a message in the comments below. So if you're on a budget and thinking of purchasing the PS200, I have made a link in the description of where you can get it, and I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. But finally, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video and taking the time to do so. Now, if you don't want to miss out on any other reviews or you want to catch up on some builds, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you on the next review.